uh, angels are carriers of intestinal worms, flagellates. They will uh, harass and bully your discus. Angels are more aggressive uh, feeders than discus. So size matters. Well, let's look at these issues more in detail. Can you keep discus and uh, angelfish together? Well, some of the discus uh, keepers and some of the discus breeders will recommend you against doing that for a number of reasons. Firstly, they will say that angels are more aggressive uh, feeders than discus. Second, they will tell you that uh, angels are generally more aggressive than discus, so they will uh, harass and bully your discus. Third is that uh, angels are carriers of intestinal worms, flagellates, uh, and all sorts of parasites uh, that will be passed over to your discus. So these are some of the reasons why angels are not recommended to be kept in the same uh, tank with discus. Well, let's look at these issues more in detail. Uh, the first thing to consider is that in the wild, uh, discus are sharing the same habitats with angels. Uh, they, they are found in the same uh, lakes and in the same rivers uh, with discus. They, they live in the same type of habitats. Uh, not only Pterophyllum scalari, which is our regular angels and all of its varieties, which is Monacapuri or Nanai angels, but also Pterophyllum leopoldi and Pterophyllum amicae. Well, uh, Altums, Pterophyllum altum, do not live in the same habitats with discus, but they have very similar parameters when it comes to water hardness, when it comes to temperature. Are angels more aggressive feeders than discus? Well, yes, definitely they are, but do they eat the same types of food? Uh, very often, not really. So, m most of the discus keepers are feeding uh, is a beef heart mix or fish food mix to the discus fish. Well, it comes to angels, they, they would rarely get interested in beef heart mix. Uh, at least in case of my own angels, they, they rarely have any interest in beef heart mix and this is something that only discus would take. Uh, in comparison to discus, which are mostly substrate feeders, angels are mostly midwater or surface feeders, so they will try to grab everything that's in the higher levels uh, of your fish tank, in, on the top level of your water column. Everything that goes down usually is being picked up by uh, discus. It doesn't mean that angels will not go to the bottom of your tank and will not pick up food from there, but usually discus have more opportunities to grab stuff when it's uh, on the bottom of the tank. So <laughs> this is very often the case with uh, beef heart mix. It just sinks straight to the bottom and then that's where your discus will pick it up. Well, some of my angels are interested in beef heart, but they won't eat too much of it. They would rather prefer to eat other types of food, which are frozen foods, uh, uh, brine shrimp, uh, blood worms, and so on. They would also eagerly take dry foods from the surface of the water, which is something that discus will rarely do. Uh, the discus will obviously also eat live foods, frozen foods, and dry foods, but uh, in my case, that rarely constitutes a major part of their diet. If you want your discus to grow and if you want your discus to breed, you would most likely feed them some sort of a meaty mix uh, types of food such as beef heart mix. And this is what most of the breeders and importers usually uh, feed to their discus. So when we keep discus and angel fish together, different types of foods is what we have to consider. and. If there are different types of food, there will be a very little competition for food between angels and discus. Are angels in general more aggressive than discus? Well, yes and no. If you have a breeding pair of angels in your tank and you have a group of discus in your tank, well, obviously you're calling for trouble because a breeding pair of angels will clearly harass any other fish in the tank. It doesn't matter whether it's a discus or not, they just need their own space. So. Uh, the first rule is not to keep a breeding pair of angels uh, in the same tank with discus or pretty much any other fish. You can have some desert fish with your breeding pair, but you can't have any larger fish, obviously, because they will get harassed. Uh, the same rule applies to discus. If you have a breeding uh, pair of discus in your tank, they will obviously try to harass all other tank mates, especially during the spawning period, uh, and they will not really get along with other discus as well. So clearly you have to keep large cichlids separately from other 
large cichlids or other large fish during the breeding periods or when uh, they have split into a breeding pair. Uh, this is uh, the first rule to consider. Uh, there are other things uh, to consider uh, in terms of aggressiveness between angels and discus is size. Clearly, if you have uh, a group of larger angels and you have, you have a group of smaller discus, there is a possibility that angels will try to pick up on your smaller discus. So it's uh, highly advisable to, to have larger discus and smaller angels. Well, clearly your angels will grow with time, so they will probably match in terms of size with your discus. Although, well, clearly an adult discus will always be slightly larger than adult uh, angels in terms of the body mass. Even for heckles discus, which are usually, well, wild heckle discus, uh, they're usually a bit smaller than uh, domestic strains of discus and they're a bit smaller than uh, brown or green discus. Uh, nevertheless, they will have a body mass which is slightly larger than uh, your largest angel will probably have. Yes, some wilder types of angel fish such as Monacaburo angels, they might be relatively larger than domestic strains of angels, but nevertheless, if you have a group of large adult discus, it is very unlikely that angels during, not during the breeding time will try to pick on them, so size matters. So one way to deal with uh, angel fish aggression or with this frequent uh, breeding and spawning uh, is uh, to buy wild types of angels or F1 or F2 generations uh, born from the wild parents. Uh, the thing about wild angels pretty much the same as in case of wild discus, they will be much less prolific breeders so they will not likely to breed as often and as eagerly as domestic strains of angels. They are also somewhat more docile compared to domestic strains of angels. So if you have wild angels with your discus, doesn't matter if you have wild discus or domestic strains of discus, they are likely to be a bit calmer than domestic strains, so they are not as much likely to harass your discus or to bully your discus as domestic strains, so this is one of the solutions. Well, obviously, if you have wild discus, uh, wild angels will look m more harmoniously with them than domestic strains, and this is what you would like to achieve in a biotope tank, for example. Are angel fish carriers of intestinal parasites, which will pass over to your discus? Well, uh, definitely they are, uh, but the same thing refers to most other cichlids and many other tropical fish. For example, uh, German blue ram cichlid uh, Microgeophagus ramirius, which is very often kept in a discus tank in a discus community. They are also carriers of parasites, internal parasites, which could be passed over to your discus. So whenever you're introducing some new fish to your discus tank, whether it's other discus or whether it's other cichlids or some other fish, uh, you're obviously risking to introduce some sort of parasites, even if you did quarantine this fish before. So the risk is always there because discus are very susceptible to parasites, intestinal worms, flagellates. This is something that they're very susceptible to naturally. Uh, even if you don't introduce any new fish, it's quite obvious that from time to time we have to deworm our fish, we have to use various medications uh, to uh, deworm your discus, and this has to be done more or less regularly, even if there is no issues with worming. Uh, the same refers to angels. If you keep angels uh, with your discus, uh, they have to be dewormed as well as discus. So clearly if you're introducing medication to the same tank, you're doing both things at the same time. And uh, clearly if you're introducing new discus uh, or new angels, they have to be dewormed as well. And that will pretty much solve the warming issue and intestinal parasites issue. I have kept uh, angels with discus together for for years and I've never had any issues with intestinal worms of uh, flagellus because I do devour my fish regularly and that essentially handles the issue. Well, uh, so these were some of the key challenges that you're likely to encounter when deciding to keep uh, angels and discus fish in the same community tank or in the same display tank. So I hope this video was useful and if it was, uh, do click that subscribe button or like button. Uh, there will be more similar videos to come in the near future.